Hey everyone, it's Alicia with Twisted Tarot, here to do another pick a card reading. Uh, this time we have a subscriber request, and it is, uh, who has a crush on you? So we're going to explore uh, what, what this person is like, characteristics of them, uh, how you'll know that this is your person um, that has a crush on you, and uh, it's a fun reading. It's super lighthearted. Uh, it's meant to be you know, fun and, and uh, flirty and just like a sweet, fun thing to do. So remember, it is general, guys. I cannot get everybody on the channel. One way to get your energy in my readings is to like and subscribe because I pull from the collective um, or comment, and that will bring your energy in for your uh, reading. So if you're not getting messages and you're not doing those things, uh, please do because that's what I focus on. Uh, what else? So thank you everyone for all your personal readings, your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, uh, your donations. Everything has been so amazing. I'm so blessed to have such a beautiful following following and y'all are amazing. And so I want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart because, you know, I couldn't, you know, I wouldn't be doing very much with this channel <laughs> um, if I wasn't reaching as many people as possible to get out these messages. So um, I really, really appreciate that and just know that I am going to be uh, booked through Saturday and Sunday of this week currently and uh, I will be on vacation from that point forward. So please be patient with me about the personal readings. If you're looking for one and you're looking for something right away while I'm on vacation, I can't promise anything like that. So please be flexible with me and know that I'm doing the best I can. So. Um, I hope everybody is having a wonderful uh, almost end of the year. I know it's stressful because Christmas is coming and all that good stuff. So, uh, But I want to tell you guys how much I appreciate y'all. So, you know, thank you so much. You're amazing. I hope you have a wonderful holiday and a Merry Christmas. And uh, we're going to chat my chime. Sorry, my cat decided to get up on me and get just so much hair everywhere. So I'm just like trying to get all this hair out. <laughs> all right, so we're going to chime my chime like we normally do. Uh, what I do when I'm chiming the chime each time is I breathe in and hold for four and breathe out uh, for each chime that I do. So there'll be two chimes here. And uh, that just helps us get grounded, uh, be open to spirit for the messages, and be objective uh, and be able to to open to use them with open arms and with an open mind and an open heart. So, all right, guys, so let's do that. All right, we're going to chime the chime and clear out the energy, and then we'll get into your reading. Beautiful. So a lot of you have been wondering about this chime. I will put the link in the description box below. It is a table chime. It's, I think it's called a little lotus, but I'll put the link in the description box below if you are interested in the table chime. And all the decks that I use, I also uh, put the names of them in the description box below and how you can reach me for a personal reading or if you have questions or anything uh, that you need is all down below. And you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you would like. Alrighty. So we have three piles here today. We have pile number one, which is this beautiful bottle of mixed gemstones. I just got this at a fertility fair that I was invited to have a booth at, which was amazing. It was with the Labor of Love um, in Denton. So check them out if you are uh, interested, if you're female and you're interested in uh, resources and things like that. They're a great resource. I don't know if you're local here in Texas, but uh, they're a great organization nonetheless. Uh, working with uh, females uh, trying to conceive and things like that. So it was a really beautiful, beautiful fair. So I got this there and I wanted to use it for the pick a card readings. So there's that. So that'll be pile number one will be the bottle of mixed gemstones, the little glass bottle. And pile number two is really cute. I don't know where I got these, but they're adorable. They're little sandals here. So they're pink sandals, little pink and blue sandals. So yeah. If you like those, that would 
this would be your message for number two. And then we have a turquoise looking button, aqua turquoise button for pile number three. So excuse me, I'll give you a few minutes to make your choice and then we'll get into your reading. Well, maybe not minutes, maybe seconds. <laughs> All right, so let's get into pile number one with the beautiful bottle of little gemstones in there. All right, so we'll see who has a crush on you for pile number one. All right. All righty, pile number one. Beautiful. Let's see what's going on with pile number one. Cool. Okay, all right, very interesting. All right, so who has a crush on you? So for astrological signs, we have Leo. So have Sagittarius, we have Gemini, so fire and air. We also have King of Swords here, which would be, again, Gemini. We have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? So these, these could be the, this could be the signs of the person that has a crush on you. I'm going to move these over just a bit here give us a little bit more room okay so uh, to start out with this person could be someone from your past that you've already dealt with that you may have had a tower moment with because we have the tower here okay so this is something that uh, may have come suddenly and you may have gone through a tower moment with this person may have been a breakup okay so the tower comes in and anything that uh, wasn't built on solid found, solid foundations will crumble. So this is that energy of uh, normally you can see just these two people, male and female, um, flying out of that tower, falling out of that tower. So something has shaken up this relationship, and it's uh, possible it was a past relationship with this person, um, with this King of Swords. This person you have some uh, you've had some cycles with, okay? Because we have the world here. Sorry, it looks like this the way it goes. It goes the world, so it's like the past. This King of Swords energy, but not a good King of Swords energy, unfortunately. So for some of you, this is going to resonate. Just remember, take what resonates and leave the rest. If it's not the astrological sign you're dealing with um, or that you suspect is your crush, you know, just know that this could be in their charts. They could have Leo, Sag, Gemini in their chart or Libra uh, or Aquarius. Okay, so with this King of Swords, I'm feeling like the energy here was uh, toxic, was a possibly abusive with this person. So this King of Swords was, when I see him reverse, even if it's a female that you're asking about, you know, remember energy can take it if it's, if, if you're asking about uh, a female instead. This energy is like decisive and cutthroat. And, and if you're a male watching, you may have been the one to be, uh, you know, I hate to say this, but you could have been abusive or your words or the arguments that y'all had were uh were really awful I guess is what I'm getting they were really tense they were really emotionally charged is what I'm getting and there may have been a severing of ties okay with this person with the world reverse right here a severing of ties uh with this person in the past so this may this is a past energy I'm feeling like for some of you um if you're asking about a crush that you ha that you have just met and you're wondering or if it's as a friend thing things like that I am seeing that uh, 
pay attention to the red flags. Okay, so this person may have had a failed marriage uh, and, and just keep that in mind so they may be repeating some past mistakes here. The signs are cautioning you. So they may be cautioning you about this person that even if they have a crush on you, they may not be good for you is what I'm also getting here with that pay attention to the red flags and with that king of swords reversed. And this eight of cups, somebody just walked away. So either you or this other person walked away from this relationship because you saw the red flag. So it's possible that you have somebody who has a crush on you that this will happen in the future, but you're going to see some red flags and you may walk away from this person and they may be mentally or physically abusive or there's just some fights here that are like drop down, drag out fights. I don't like when I see that King of Swords reverse ever. Uh, that's like a wife beater type energy to me. Now, I'm not saying that's what your person is. I'm just saying that for those of you that you had a toxic uh, connection with someone in the past and it ended and it was pretty bad when it ended. And whether you or this other person walked away, this is they still have a crush on you. They still they still are looking at you. They're still uh, considering you, you know, they may be in the background now. This is a mature man. For some of you, you were married to this person. I have to say that because I do feel it here. Some of you may be married to this person. Others of you, this may be the person coming in for you, okay? This person may feel like a failure and that's maybe why they're not coming forward. Maybe that's why it's just a crush right now is because it says, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Okay, so there may have been, this may have been what happened in the past with those of you that have a past connection with this person, there was some failure in the past, or this person, if it's a new person or a friend that you're asking or, you, or that's coming through, which I do feel it could be for some of you something like that, it could be a friend, they could also be a married man uh, that has a crush on you as well, so, um, but it says go with the flow and let things happen, so yeah, if things are meant to be with, to, with this person, uh, go with the flow. I'm not saying that it's, you know, that I recommend, you know, going towards somebody who's toxic. So for those of you that are just asking, it's just for fun and you're not actually pursuing that person or they're not pursuing you, just know that, um, you know, I'm not going to say, hey, go back to them or anything like that. But uh, for those of you that are that are meeting this person, uh, you're being kind of guided to just go with the flow because there's some synchronicities and signs you may be seeing signs for this person coming in uh, it could be number 29 is sticking out here too that could be an age or that could be a date and that also boils down to the number 11 so very divine connection could be a, a twin flame connection for some of you and there's synchronicities and signs all around so it says align to your desires notice signs and symbols for validation there also be maybe leaves around this person or it may you may, may have met them in the fall or something about meeting them during during the fall season or something to do with leaves uh, leaves changing leaves turning uh, reddish yellow leaves okay uh, may have walked through a forest with this person is also what I'm getting here outdoors. So uh, go with the flow, let things happen. Yeah, I feel like that just go with the flow with this person, that they may have had some failure in the past. If they approach you, they may be worried to approach you because they failed with relationships in the past and that may be holding them back. But for a lot of you, this is a gentleman. This is just a gentleman that's that's here to court you, um, take you. They might may like tea and tarot too, or you may like tea and tarot. And maybe you um, meet this person in like a coffee shop or uh, something about, uh, or you have have met them in a coffee shop, okay? And you may have talked with them about tarot over tea, something interesting like that. That's really coming through here. That's really. Really cool. All right, let me see what they have to say about that because we do have, um, these cards actually have a booklet and I wanna see what they say um, in regards to that. All right, T and tarot. You see tea party. Oh, <laughs> I was like there's another index here. Okay, I'm sorry, hold on now. Okay, 26 is also another number that's coming through. Uh, that could also be uh, the number 8 when you reduce it, when you reduce the numbers down. Okay, T and tarot. Fortune telling tarot, T answers divination. Well, you're coming to me right now, so that's really cool. They're like, okay, so you'll remember this tarot reading when you do meet this person or when you you'll know because it'll it'll have been uh, foretold for you or divine divination divine for you. Okay, it says take the time to breathe with a brewed cup of tea. 
quiet your mind and deal the cards, let the messages guide you. So if you're also a tarot reader, that's what they're saying that um, in order to kind of see this clearly on your own, if you're asking about someone, it's also here we have the number six, we have six of hearts here. All right, so someone from the past, wishing for someone from the past, because we also have the nine of hearts on this, uh, on this card. And also what looks like another tarot card up there or another symbol, uh, or maybe a feast, a dinner, something like that, that you will, that you had with this person or will, or will have with this person. I don't know if you can see all that. So yeah, uh, fortune telling. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, let's see. Next to gentlemen, the cards may reveal more to you about this man. Okay, ooh, all right. So yeah, this man may be uh, into tarot or they may be interested in what you are doing. Uh, they may really be spiritually inclined to uh, have you read cards for them, too. So that's very interesting. I may ask you for a card reading if you are a tarot reader like myself. And then we have the fifth house of creativity. Okay, so um, this is all about masks that we wear. It's all about theater and drama. This person may be on the stage. They may be. This is all about also recognition uh, for their talent. So something about this gentleman could be that they're in theater or they're an actor or they are an artist of some sort and uh, they're, they're very creative. And let's see what they have to say. I'm sorry, I usually have my look out for this one because it's a brand new deck. Let me see what they have to say about that here because that's a really cool card. Um, it is from the Black Moon astrology cards so let's see yeah if the zodiac had a fun house it would be the fifth house okay so five 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 you might see i'm also getting that here uh eight so we have eights here eight 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 you might might also see that as well okay the world is starting a new cycle as well so you may start a new cycle with this person and you may have gone back to them you may have been again married i keep getting married here uh for a lot of you that are asking somebody married you that has a crush on you or you were married to this person for some of you and um uh there was a there's definitely either going to be or was a tower moment in the relationship and somebody had to walk away okay but it's almost like they're saying that this cycle is, is continuous it's going to keep starting uh let's see Playing is what a, the fifth house is about. Um, this chart rules over romance, especially the beginning stages. Yeah, the beginning stages of a romance, okay? But keep an eye out for the red flags. This person may not be who they say they are, so they may be putting on... I mean, we all do that in the beginning of a relationship, so it's possible that uh, really get to know this person is what they're saying because there are uh, red flags warning you about them, okay? For some of you. Let's see. It's... This card is strongly tied to artistic expression, art of every kind, from painting to drawing to creating stage sets, costuming, costuming, writing stage and screenplays, making films, as well as music. Okay, very cool. Uh, the fifth house is the natural house position for the sign of Leo. Yeah, double Leo here. Someone close to you, a potential lover, a mate, or the two of you together will make a striking appearance. Ooh, very cool. So it's a potential lover, potential mate. Uh, you guys will make a beautiful appearance out and about if you um, come out with your romance. Uh, if uh, if you if this person and you uh, start a romance again or uh, f uh, beginning a romance because it is in the beginning stages. So that's cool. Parties, yeah. You may be going to a New Year's party as well. You could meet this person at a New Year part New Year's party. Um, this is also possibly a fling could be. Uh, you know, for those of you that, you know, I know you're asking on the crush, but you know, this could turn into a fling and it's also associated with the six of cups. So again, this is all about your past. This is all about childhood. This is about creativity. This is about being innocent and fresh and free. And they want you to let go and go with the flow and let things happen and unfold the way they're supposed to. Okay. So maybe there's some type of tower moment that you'll have to go through. Okay. And you know, we find out who will stick around and what's meant for us after that tower settles, okay? And after we realize what's good for us. So just just be cautious about this pile if, you know, uh, if they are married or, you know, and, and looking at you, something along those lines. Um, 
you know, but that's your business. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to judge there. So, okay. All right. Thank you so much. I hope this resonated. If it did, there is a like button down there. If you could uh, click it for me, that would be awesome. Uh, if you didn't like the video, that's okay too. You can, uh, you can thumbs down it. Doesn't bother me. Uh, I really appreciate all of your love and support. And if you would like a personal reading or to follow me on Instagram or any information about me, the link is in the description box below. Take care. All right, so pile number two, if you chose the beautiful little beach pink uh, sandals, the beach sandals, they look very beachy anyways to me, are very, very comfy. So this reading will be for you. Who has a crush on you? Remember, this is general, guys. It's meant to be fun. It's uh, lighthearted and uh, not something that you need to take too seriously. Uh, remember you know, energy is always changing. So it's possible that you haven't met this person yet that has a crush on you. So keep that in mind. I feel like this should go over here. All right. Okay. All right. Interesting energy for pile number two. Very cool. All right. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn. We have Capricorn. We also have Libra. All right. And any others? We also have Leo here with the sun and Aries with the emperor. Uh, very beautiful energy. So uh, this person has a crush on you. They may have given you gifts or they want to give you a gift. Uh, they may give you a gift for Christmas, or they may have given you something to do with the beach. That's what uh, I'm feeling for some of you. They may have given you something from the beach. It says, expect a gesture or gift to reveal their true intentions. So this person wants to reveal their true intentions. That they have a crush on you, and they've thought of giving you gifts if they haven't. Uh, one of the things that actually is really beautiful here is they may have given you an heirloom or they want to give you an heirloom or something that means a lot to them. So, or something that means a lot to you is what I'm uh, picking up on. It could be, uh, for, for feminines out there, it could be a brooch or like a, you know, it's really old fashioned, but that, that could be it. Uh, a necklace is what I'm getting this, this, uh, mermaid I just looked down or, or this angel, excuse me, she has a necklace here. Also something to do with feathers for some of you. That's also another, uh, uh, and seashells. We've got Venus and love right here, but there's a seashell behind her. So, wow, very beautiful. And if you are a masculine watching, uh, that may be something, you know, like a picture as well, like an heirloom or like a watch or, uh, I get pocket watch as well. Um, and there's some secret whispers. You may be, uh, communicating, communicating in secret with this person or they, they find that they can express what they feel for you uh, and maybe just holding holding it in and, and they may not be able to express it. it. may be a secret to them. They may have told like maybe one or two friends, two girlfriends possibly maybe talking about this. They may say, oh, he's got such a crush on you and da 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 So it could be your friends that are saying that too. Uh, so that's really interesting. Uh, wow. Okay. All right. And then we have angel of miracles. So this is going to feel like a miracle for you. And if you're a feminine watching, uh, you may have a child with this person, or you may in the future have a child with them, uh, or, or you have children already. Okay. But you, you see this person as a miracle. They're a gift. Okay. A miracle is also like a gift here is what I'm feeling. So this person is a gift to you. You're a gift to them. Uh, and open your heart and expect a miracle with this person because you may be like, oh, this crush doesn't care about me. They don't they don't see me at all. But they're saying expect a miracle, expect something to change, expect the impossible, you know, dream your life, manifest your life here with that. So it's really beautiful. Um, this person may have some health issues and this may be an obstacle to the relationship or to them coming forward to you if they if they're your crush. So just know it's possible that they are struggling with that, okay? And they may keep it very private. They may not have told a lot of people what's going on either. So it's possible that they are uh, kind of keeping it inside of like a very secretive energy here, okay? 
It says, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Okay. And this may be something that you, if, if it's on your end too as the viewer, because I kind of feel like it could also be you uh, for some of you watching that have some health issues, that you may think that this, nobody's going to want to be with somebody who has health issues is what I'm feeling here, or that have, may have crossed your mind. Like it's never going to happen for you or take a miracle for me to find this person because you may not be out a lot because you may be sick or you may be uh, ill uh, or there may be something that keeps you from, like you may have to take care of someone else who's also ill as well or, or your, your crush does. And this just is a small obstacle right now, but it's not huge. I feel like it's just kind of like a, kind of like a little bump. Like it, it could get over it really easily. That could, you, that could be fixed. Okay. Or that, or not the health part necessarily, but like seeing it as an obstacle, we have to kind of change our, our, our thought process on that. Okay. And see that maybe as, uh, just, you know, it's a part of life, you know, you're going to be different people are going to have uh, different health issues. And it's so common nowadays for anyone to have something. Okay. All right, we have flirt. So yeah, they are flirt with you and they want you, you may flirt back and this is like a flirtation or this is how it starts. Okay. And it could be a lot of you for right here, a friend. It could also be someone that you've known for a while. Um, we have Venus here for love. So, I mean, this person loves you. Like they have watched you for a while for a lot of you, uh, watching that they have been had, they've had their eye on you for a long time. Okay. Uh, could be four months, four weeks. You could have met them in April. Uh, again, we have April here or some of April with the emperor with Aries. Okay. So let's see what they have to say about that because this is a beautiful, beautiful book and I, it's really long, but I'm just going to go over a little bit about uh, what they say about love. So it's very beautiful. These cards are awesome. They are the Black Moon Astrology cards. Love is my religion, and I could die for that. John Keats. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. I believe that's a writer. Keats, obviously. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, smell beautiful. So this rules the sign. Venus co-rules the signs of Libra and Taurus. And we have Libra here. Okay, so double confirmation for Libra. Those of you that are um, asking about your crush, they could be a Libra. They could have that in their chart or Capricorn. Uh, Aries and Taurus are here and also Leo as well. But it doesn't have to be those signs. If it matches with the personality or what else, it, or what anything else, um, then that um, then that take it that way. Okay, so love, romance, and art are her domains, uh, yet she doesn't get lost in them and lose her practical side. In fact, Venus is the planet of fashion, luxuries, balance, symmetry, artistic ability, and sugary foods, and she prefers to overlook the ugliness of the world. Buying objects that are beautiful, unnecessary, or excessive may come into play when this card is drawn. So this person may like may like really nice things, or you may like really nice things, and that could be where that heirloom comes in. That that gift that comes in is very is very valuable. Okay, so if they give you a gift, it's it's probably worth some money or something along those lines. Or this person kind of looks at things like that in in that way. Their love language may be through gifts. Okay, so just know that that's how they show you they love you. Okay, so that's. That's really um, interesting. Uh, let's see. All right, so that's pretty much it. So this is courts, law, and judgments can factor into actually Venus. Um, it's a very humane and fair planet. So this person could be in law. Uh, they could be associated, they could work in a court system somehow. So that's really interesting. It also rules money. So they could be a business person that has some money or has a good amount of money. Uh, and your tarot cards that we have here, we have the five of swords reversed. Okay. So this is right under the obstacles card. So I feel like they're saying that like uh, this person uh, is fair and they're not out to win at all costs. Okay. But they see that there's possibly some obstacles, but they're trying to figure out a fair and just way to get through these obstacles, a logical way to get through these obstacles. And when I see that card reversed, I like that because upright, it's not a very good card. So that's really beautiful energies. So they may be coming out of some type of conflict with other people around them. Um, in order to maybe, uh, it could have been health, ob health obstacles too, and people around them that just didn't understand their health. 
And we have the Two of Wands here, okay? So it's very, very like expansive energy, very sexual energy with the wands. Uh, so this person is, may have had a, been at a crossroads in their life and trying to decide which path to take, but they're realizing whatever path is the best is this path towards the sun, the path towards happiness, towards enlightenment, towards awakening. Uh, this also is wanting a child and things like that. So this person uh, sees you as their happiness, okay? And they're, they're looking out into in over you know in, into these two different directions that they could take and they're being drawn to go towards you they're being drawn to tell you about this crush possibly as well uh, this person may like to travel i also feel that, that in this card they're holding a world so they're they may like to travel they may live at a distance from you uh, as well there may be travel involved long distance relationship could also be it too um if if you guys come into a relationship or you've had that before this person still thinks about you they still crush on you um, and we have the emperor, so it could be a father figure. They could already have children. If you're asking about a married man, this could be this person. Uh, if they are uh, not married, then uh, they could be older than you and have kids. They could be divorced with the emperor here, uh, but also standing in their power in a good way. They have, they're have they very controlled. However, they're also, if it's associated with Aries, the red, they're very passionate. Uh, they have a uh, very, they're a very good leader. Uh, and again, they, I feel like business, uh, business as well, being able to be logical, being able to balance their, uh, emotional side with their, with their logical side and be able to make fair and just decisions. Okay. So I feel like that as well with that card. So it's very beautiful. And, uh, in their, your crush has thought about like, you know, this happy family with you as well. Like they want a family with you and you may have had a family with them. If you've been divorced from someone, which I, it's possible that could have happened as well. A person still has a crush on you. That person's still kind of thinking about you and they're still, you know, they still love you. Okay. They still love you and uh, they, you make them very happy. Whoever it is, you make them very happy. Okay. You make them ecstatic. This is a, a spiritual connection. This is also a soulmate to me. When I see the sun card for me personally, as a reader, I see this as a soulmate card. So it's definitely a soulmate energy for you. So, uh, yeah, this is interesting. Wow. And there may be some, again, some talk about this, some gossip about this connection. Or uh, maybe something um, this person keeps to themselves and kind of secretly tells themselves, oh, you know, this person will never never want me. <laughs> but they never know unless they try. So, And they may be just a bit of a flirt here, which is really, really cute. I like seeing that. It's really lighthearted energy. Right above the sun is even more beautiful. So when this person is, it may have given you a gift and it was actually an heirloom of theirs. Like there could be on the female side, like their mothers. There's also, they could have sisters too here that they talk to about this relationship or about this crush, excuse me. Um, I feel like a lot of you, I speak in terms of relationship because this could be taken to that level. So, all right. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated. If it did, if you wouldn't mind uh, clicking that like button, that way other people can get the message um, as well. That would be wonderful. I super appreciate all of your love and support and if you like a personal reading the link is in the description box below please know like I said that I am uh, super booked right now and uh, booking uh, out into next week and so um, and I'll be on vacation so please be patient uh, the readings may take longer uh, my 24 hours is booking into 48 uh, to 72 at this point so I hope that helps all right, so let's move on to pile number three. If you chose the blue blue aqua button, let's see who has a crush on you. Who has a crush on you? Man, my collective is incredible. Um, Aries, uh, excuse me, Aquarius, Aries, yeah, Aries too. Aquarius and Pisces keep coming out like y'all are... Uh, Y'all are um, a couple, so it's really beautiful energy. I keep getting that here. Aries, Aqu Aries keep saying Aries, but yeah, Aries. Aquarius and Pisces um, keep coming out in the reading. So that's really, really interesting to see that. Interesting. All right. Hmm. 
Very cool. All right. So who has a crush on you? Like I said, we have Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or this is the person that has a crush on you. We have Pisces and we have Scorpio. We also have fire here. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the fire element, which is the number 37. That is, could be a, an age. Uh, uh, you may see that a lot or it boils down to the number one. So the start of something beautiful. This person is like your true love. They have a crush on you and you may have already met them, already, may have already had a relationship with them. And for some of you, uh, that it could have led to marriage, okay? Or you could have been married to this person before and they have a, a crush on you or a married man has a crush on you. So the situation involves some type of commitment here, okay? So you could have been committed to this person. You may still be committed. Who's to say that your, you know, your love right now, your true love right now doesn't still have a crush on you because that's really sweet and cute. So I'm getting that as well. So yeah. Uh, and uh, there may you may have met them through at a party or will meet them at a party. This is about celebrations. This is New Year's. This is possibly a New Year's party. Uh, so there's champagne here. So this person uh, likes the finer things in life or they want to share those things with you. Or uh, you, you may have gone on a date with them already and they have a crush on you or you may want to. And this is something they think about. They think about partying and celebrating with you and having some bubbly and... And this, uh, it's a handsome bachelor. So this true love is a handsome bachelor. Okay. So for when mostly women that are watching this, um, it's a, it's a male energy. So, or if you're the, if you're the male watching, you're the handsome bachelor. Okay. And you're this person's true love and you know it, and you have a huge crush on them. Uh, and you want to, you want to offer them true love. This person wants to offer you true love this handsome bachelor. Okay. True love. And they may want to marry you with that wedding card and you may, you know, um, at some point get to this to this to this point because we have su success here and they're saying you could be if you married this person the the wedding the relationship your true love would be it would be a successful relationship is what I'm getting as well I know that there is no greater goal than to love yeah even that success card talks about love yeah there's no greater goal in this life but to you know uh, to love to to love yeah absolutely okay uh, this person is also there's there's possibly some time more time involved with this person has a crush on you and uh, it's it's not quite time yet because there is possibly a closed gate so there may be something blocking this relationship currently if it's a married situation someone's married that could be why the gate is closed okay but this person would like to come towards you and trans and transform this relationship into more so take this crush to the next level with that wings of love and i kept hearing on the wings of love so um that song you could look that up uh i don't know who sings it i just know that it was coming through when i saw that card and i was jamming a little bit to it even though it's not like a super great card it's a, a great card sorry super great song i would say it's it's a cute song um uh, not really my not really my style but i know of it and and uh, kind of an older song. So anyways, so there's something about this relationship that could transform. There's a lot of desire, a lot of sexual chemistry here with this fire element. This is like off the charts. This is off the charts charts uh, chemistry between the two of you. And they know this. I mean, they can feel it when you're around them. They can feel that energy. And there's a lot of knowledge in this connection. And there's a lot of things that this person has to learn. Uh uh, or they're learning about you. They want to know everything about you is what I'm getting. They want to know everything about you. And you may like to read as the viewer or uh, your person that you're asking about may also like to read. They may uh, be, uh, they may go to libraries and, and read a lot of books or, you know, have a Kindle, check out a lot of books, things like that. Like, uh, however they, however, they may love bookstores. Uh, a lot of knowledge, though. They're always thirsty for knowledge, okay? And, and that's definitely... Uh, very true with these uh, water, the water and air and fire here for sure. So yeah, there's there's uh, and and that it's like a fairy tale. This is like a fairy tale. It's like too good to be true. It could be like a beautiful love story that's just waiting to happen that could be completely manifested in the physical world here. So this person may daydream or fantasize about you as well. Fantasize about this this relationship. They fantasize about you sexually as well. Uh, 
and they want to court you here too. This handsome bachelor is right here. They want to court you. They want to take you on dates. They uh, may have already done that in the past. They still have a crush on you if this is a past person. Uh, we have sophistication here as well. So this person's sophisticated and they like, the, again, finer things and nicer things in life or they see you this way as being very sophisticated uh, and worthy of courting and of turning this into a, a, a literal love story because I'm feeling that energy here. Like this is a huge love story. So someone's crushing hard on someone else who's like, you know, just so handsome, okay, or so beautiful, okay? And I'm feeling like you see this other person as handsome they see you as beautiful or whatever and they just you just come together like you're drawn together with that fire element that's right in the middle here I'm going to read from the book for that because I feel like they have such beautiful information here for that card in the book so yeah oh, let's see about passion fire um it Scorches away impurities, clearing a landscape for new growth and leaving an area healthier and stronger. Uh, when the fire element card is involved, expect changes to be dramatic in an unforgettable way. A situation is about to be transformed. We had that butterfly transform, like I said, through a wake-up call or a personal epiphany. So this person may be going through awakening, or you may too, or, and there may be, it may be times running out or divine timing is bringing you together, but true love is timeless is what that says at the bottom there. So true love, you got true love twice. This person is your true love, okay? So, and you know it and they know it, and you both have this hard on for each other, which is so cute. Uh, let's see. Ego going out of control, so be careful with that. Of course, that is fire elements. Talks about new starts, sudden change in direction. Yeah, there may be a brand new change in direction with a new person. Uh, a dare being spontaneous. Com competition. Yeah, this card I remember when I was uh, trying to pull for this. There's a lot of people competing for that have crushes on you in this pile that picked this pile. Especially if you watching your fire sign, you have many, many options around you. Lots of lots of interesting. Uh, this also talks about fires. This could be a twin flame situation when we have fire and we have flame. Uh, the colors red, scarlet, purple, and gold uh, may may uh, have something to do with this. This also rules motorbikes, sunlight, being a rebel, uh, noise, places, steam, smoke, candles, candle spells. Wow, that's very, very interesting. Wow. Okay. And it's symbolized by the two of wands, okay, which is... Uh, about uh, passion that's been ignited and moving forward, having the strength and courage. Uh, definitely a beautiful energy. I love that. So then we have the Ace of Cups here. Beautiful. So that is somebody, uh, this is, again, that true love. This is that emotional, uh, they have emotions for you that are overflowing, that they want to express for you, that they feel for you in this connection, especially if you're dealing with a water sign. They are just overflowing with it. They they absolutely love you. You love them and you know it. So this crush is a little bit more than a crush in this pile here. It feels like there's definitely this overflowing divine and it's a divine connection and divine love. Okay. And uh, the high priestess is here reversed under this handsome bachelor. So it's possible that they may be denying the connection right now. Uh, but they see you as the high priestess and you may have freaked them out because you may have the same gifts as I do. You may have said something that actually came true or predicted something or you read cards or however you do it. And you may have this ability to, you know, be eerie <laughs> like I do. So <laughs> very interesting energy. So I always associate this again with Pisces with the high priestess. I think it's also Taurus, I believe if I'm, I could be wrong about that, but um, I'll have to look for sure. But uh, this is definitely that energy that I'm feeling it could have initials B or J in their name. Um, feeling that as well from this card. So, but somebody not listening to their intuition about this connection. So somebody's denying something in denial or uh, still unwilling to uh, maybe speak up about this connection, although they need to. I feel like this person wants to express this to you. You may have expressed it to them and it may have freaked them out. They may have uh, ran off. So, um, but they do have a crush for on you. They do feel the same way. Uh, and they're being represented by the page of wands here. So that's kind of a younger energy. So you could be dealing with a younger fire sign here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Again, we've got that twice uh, in the uh, in the spread here. So yeah, this is that, this is that again, that's fiery passion. They, 
they are very sexually attracted to you and they want to offer you their wand <laughs> in many ways, <laughs> um, literally and figuratively. So they're here to say like, uh, pick me is what I keep getting. Pick me. Okay. Out of all of these, um, out of all these options are like, pick me. Okay. And, and don't, don't look at your other options with that seven of cups. They don't want you to look at other options. They want you to see them as the only option here with that seven of cups reversed. So yeah, very interesting energy here. That page of wands is all about action. Uh, it may be something small at first. It could be just a gift that they give you. Uh, they could just be flirting with you uh, a little bit just to see how you are going to react. Uh, but there may be some defensiveness um, in this connection. Uh, the nine of wands, you may be defensive over letting someone in. It's this nine of wands where this person or you have been through an incredibly hard time together. So if this is someone that you've just met though, it may be a little bit harder to break down their walls or they may be, they may be resisting this connection. Uh, because they've been through a lot when it comes to love, they may be, it may be hard to get through their, their little, uh, their little, uh, wands there. Okay. So I also feel like, uh, nines and sevens, uh, are relevant. We have, uh, one, 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 you may see 11, 11. This could also be, uh, this, is, this could very well be someone that you've had, uh, a friendship with as well, but this person may be a little bit defensive, uh, and it may be because it needs more time. Okay, they may need more time to open up. Uh, they may be trying to take care of a lot of responsibilities as well in their life because uh, those wands can be responsibilities. They can be uh, uh, certain uh, elements of their life that they have to kind of uh, take care of. Okay, and nine's a lot. Okay, so they're, they're overwhelmed and they may be overburdened uh, within their home life or their family life or something to do with... Uh, with their responsibilities okay and they may also be a little irresponsible is also what i'm hearing with that page of wands they could be a little irresponsible or you see them as that because they are kind of some for some of you that are younger than you okay and it could be that they're seven years younger nine years younger uh it could only it could only be just a uh emotional maturity is younger just in terms of uh not age but just just uh you know how you say someone's like, oh, they may be 37 or, or 42 or whatever, but they're still, you know, act like they're 15 or whatever. So that type of energy. But they want success with you. They want to marry you. For those of you that it doesn't involve marriage, they could see this going to marriage. They want to court you. They want to have fun times and go to parties and celebrate with you. And they like nice things or you may, may like nice things, uh, but this may need some more time. And there may be something about uh, the connection that's that uh, is off limits for some of you. Okay, maybe off limits. Okay, it could be a friendship that you the friend is already in another relationship that could also be it as well. So I hope you like this reading. Uh, if you did, please uh, click the like button below. If you didn't, you can select the thumbs down or just move on. Whatever you choose doesn't bother me. I hope it resonated with you. If you want to leave a comment, I love your comments. I try to respond or at least like all of them uh, when I can get to them. I really appreciate all of your love and support. If you would like a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. And uh, you can also follow me on Facebook or on Instagram. That information is also below. So thank you so much, and I will see you for the next Pick a Card reading.